and welcome back to the second part of this tutorial this is how the whole interface looks now okay the next thing we want to do is to add more buttons here and then start with the coding but before then I would like to prevent this see all this you can enter whatever data in there so I would like that not to be happening yes yeah, so what I'll do is select each of them let's come to property and in there I'm going to select after update you look at the, the event after update click on that and just select that so after after update what I want the system to do is if not is number or is numeric and what we're talking about is this I'm gonna copy it fillet all fish dot value then on fillet all fish equals clear I want you to clear whatever whatever data is entered so let's save that and just try it out so if I run it now and enter something that is not you see that that's deleted I know you might be wondering why didn't we use set it to number but if we set it to number I don't seems to I'm not happy with the way it responds and I'm going to repeat exactly the same thing to all of this so let's come in here and just come right down here if you're wondering let me show you what I was talking about if I set this property in the design view to if I set it to numbers let's close this and come in here open up the table okay I'm gonna change that of uh, cheeseburger this very one let's come in right here if I change the cheeseburger to numbers right look at that cheeseburger okay look at what's gonna happen now save yes we save it okay let's close that and open up the table right it is cheeseburger this very one if I enter okay look at that see the system would not clear it but uh, this is the message that pops up okay so I'm going to go back and change that of cheeseburger I will change it back to just numbers uh, just to text sorry Let's save it close this come right in here just come here design cheeseburger change it back to short text and save so that is fine that's how I prefer it so might as well just use ordinary use those simple lines of code that you guys saw earlier so now let's open this and go to design view and repeat exactly the same thing for the rest of this component so the next one is going to be hamburger so let's go to the property of hamburger and we'll come into okay after update for the hamburger that is hamburger right down here here's that simple line of code and just change change the objects to hamburger and this as well right so I'll repeat the same thing for fillet mail and 
last fillet meal up there. Let's copy that. And do that. Copy. Paste. And just change the name. So I will now speed that up and get back to you guys. Okay, I've finished the validation of the event after update for all of the text box on the system. So what we need to do now is let's add some buttons here, right here. Okay, the first thing I like to do is to make sure you use control is that is highlighted, is checked. So I can then click on the button come in here. I want to add let's add updates or oh, add new okay that's fine let's add new yeah so add new sales or whatever yeah add new sales Okay, click next and it's going to be called BTN add new sales as it finish so that will automatically add the new sales for me the next one is let me get another one and this one will be let's go for okay um, we should be able to delete records right if there's any mistake with sales, delete sales. Alright. So that's going to be BTN, delete sales. That's good. Then let's add another one. I think. We need to be able to save, right? Save record. Yeah, that is fine. You notice I'm only using text. I'm not using picture box because I don't, I don't need that. I prefer the text. Okay, that's going to be BTN save, right? There. I think that might be all for now. But just to be on the safe side let's see let's see I'm gonna need one for the additions and so on so anyway and so on anyway let's see close I already have that open form now all right I think that should do it navigate okay I should be able to navigate yeah let's go for next and previous right we have one for btn navigate we have one and another one let's enter another one for previous and previous okay there we go so they are all ready now all I just need to do is to tidy up those buttons and I'll get back to you guys okay guys this is how the interface looks right now okay I may have to set you for that but I need one more button because all these buttons here I can add sales I can go to next I can go back to previous that's fine I can even delete that that record is gone which is fine okay disable and enable ribbon I can disable it so that's fine all of those are working 
but I now need a button just to carry out all of the calculation and that will be the end of my tutorial really so let's enable the ribbon and come straight into design view now come right down here I'm going to copy exit let's just copy that and paste it right in there I think it's up there somewhere yeah. and just drag it down I want that right in here okay now let's go to design and properties right in here I'm going to give it a name I'll call it BTN BTN cost let's see cost and that will be the name I need to be cost of meal right that's it done okay now all of the calculation will be in here so the first thing I like to do is let's go to events right there procedure and yeah we have a place for it but one thing I like to do is right underneath here let me declare declare an array which will be M okay as double right the M actually means mill so let's comment mill there right so array always starts from zero I'm gonna say array zero equals fillet underscore o fish that's the first one and the second one is m1 is going to be cheeseburger that's the second one let's see the names of the others we have hamburger let's copy that come in here m Two equals hamburger followed by fillet meal burger meal so let's copy this we can remember that and then that is equals fillet meal M4 equals burger meal. Okay, I believe you guys get the whole idea, so I'm going to repeat exactly the same thing for the rest, the ones that I have in here. Alright, so let's continue. So let me just speed that up. Okay, so far this is how it all looks. All of the different meals and drinks have been assigned to an array. And in array 13, all of these from 0, array 0 to array 7, 8 of those are added onto array 13. And the drinks are added onto array 14 that's from 8 to 12 okay now array 13 is now assigned to the component called cost of meal and 14 assigned to the component called cost of drinks and right here at the components so what will happen is this will tell us the cost of drinks and this tell us the cost of meal so let's run it and see if I enter let's say let's go for add new sales and in here we have maybe two fillet but the thing we also need the price of each of these okay that's that's an error on my side okay 
you get that sorted. Right. We have okay, we need to get rid of that. We need drinks here. So it's now telling us how many drinks and the cost of meal. So this will be added together to get us to give us the cost of uh, the subtotal, total, tax, and total. And maybe we should change this to currency. Let's change this to, to currency. And now this only tell you how many fillet of fish the the customer wants. So you need to get a price for each item. Okay, let's enable come in here. That's fine, it's working anyway. You just need to make up a price. I'm gonna make that up. Let's say the price of a fillet of fish. I'm making this up is 1.5 and here multiply that by maybe 1.3 or 0 0.4 0 0.3 1.2 fillet meal maybe 3.5 burger meal multiply by 3.2 and the next one here is burger. Multiply that by 1.97, No, that let's say 2.5. Now T at 0.99. Cola, multiply that by 1.2. Right, so okay, that's it, guys. So we now have price for our meal. You guys can change it to whatever you like. So that's what I'm gonna go for. I say zero, zero points that so they all have price now which is fine we're gonna save it let's go in here and convert this to currency so make sure it's saved close everything and I need to open up the table and go to design view and in here these two will become currency yeah Let's see, that's fine. Okay, all sorted. Let's go back into or onto the form. Okay, in the form here, let's get our ribbon out. Let's now add all of these onto the total. Okay, design codes right here. I'm going to declare another. Okay, I'm going to just assign an order of my array. So array 15 equals M13 plus M14. Okay, then let's multiply that by maybe 0 0.4, maybe 0. Point because it's full 0 0.3 that is supposed to be the tax divided by 100 or well, we can just declare tax up there somewhere so we have one here and one more I think yeah that should do it all right, we can say the game. That's a food tax as double. 
on food tags. This middle one. equals 0 0.35 so this place here this one will become food tabs here yeah. all right that's the tabs now m16 equals we now need to add these two this plus all of this okay yes. right so this one will be 13 and 14 so that is M16 let's call it that right that's M16 and that would be the total really so we can just say total equals array 16 uh, M16 that is total now what about subtotal so I'm going to score total equals Equals this, these two. So we can get rid of this. And one, just one. Right. They don't have to be there though. So that is subtotal. What about tabs? Tabs equals M16. There, that is the tax. This one right here. That's our tax. There, this is just a comment. No, it's M15. Sorry, M15. Because we added everything here to get the total. Okay, that's fine. Let's run it and see. Save all of that and come on to the phone. And let's give that a try. Save whatever we have in there. Add new data. And we want that. Okay, what about drinks? We want two of this. Yeah. You now maybe one iced tea. I would want hamburger as well. And this. Nuggets. If we click on this, there we go, guys. You see that? And then you can click on save and have a look at what you've done or the sales in on the table right there, guys. Okay, you see that? Okay, that's the advantage or the benefit of a system like this. Go back in there. Oh, I just noticed an error there in the spelling. Let's come back in here and just get that fixed. Then we can call it the end of this tutorial. Right there, there's an R missing. Good. Sorted. Okay, guys, with that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it. And please do subscribe. You guys have a nice day now. Bye for now.